Hey, and welcome back for another video where I have partnered up once again with Halstead Bead to show you how to use some of their elements. And in this case, these are soldered elements. And these are kind of fun because they're all kinds of different shapes and patterns. And just like the last video that I showed you where I used the gallery wire, I'm going to do something very similar when it comes to soldering these elements onto my piece. So in this case, I have a heart pendant that I'm going to be using. This is copper 18 gauge. In this case, I'm going to solder some flowers, a leaf, and a butterfly. First thing I'm going to do is apply a layer of flux, and then I will apply a piece of solder to the back side of each of these elements, the three flowers, the leaf, and the butterfly. Then I'm going to use my torch to begin to flow this solder, and that will enable me to sweat solder this onto the face of my pendant. Really quick, I'm going to quench this now and then I will bring it back and lay everything out. So as you can see, I'm just taking each of these elements and placing their solder face down. And I wanna make certain one more time that everything has a nice coating of flux so that the solder will then flow. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a few little tube settings. These are two millimeter tube settings, also from Halstead Bead. And I will be using some two millimeter CZs. So you'll notice here that I am just bringing that torch and working my way around the pendant rather than directly on the pendant. And that is so that I can heat everything up before I really apply that heat to get the solder flowing. I do not want to heat up those tiny elements because they are going to heat much faster than that back plate. Now in this case, because I have some tube settings, I can watch to see when the solder flows. If I did not have the tube settings on here with that solder, then I would need to really pay attention to the stages of my flux and watch those stages so that I have a good indicator of when that solder flows underneath those elements. Now, I could have also soldered other little items such as wire or anything like that to kind of uh, finish this design. But in this case, I wanted to try my hand at some engraving. So you'll see here that I'm just using a sharp graver to come in and engrave those lines. You could have also accomplished the same look by using some different stamps or chasing tools. So at this point, I've placed all of my stones in here and now I just need to close up those bezels and set them. So I'm going to use my tube setting punch and we'll get those stones set into place. And now we are done. As you can see, I have also applied a little bit of patina to this and then brought it back down so that those silver areas and my stones really pop. Now I know that I make everything look ridiculously simple, but really these are not that difficult. And it is kind of fun because it gives my piece just a little bit more texture, a little more three dimensionality to it and they really pop out and add to my design. And not only that, but then I didn't have to create each one of these. You can find all of these different components on the Halstead Bead website. I will include links to everything down below in the description. If you like these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe and ring that bell so that you get the notifications when we have more videos coming up. Thank you so much for joining me and we will talk to you guys next time.